Hi guys, I'm Catherine McCord from Wealicious. I'm super excited to be here with the Feed Bee today. I want to tell you all about Wealicious, which is fast, fresh, and easy recipes for the entire family. Today, I'm going to be making my ultimate snack board. One of the best parts about living in Los Angeles is you have the Hollywood Farmers Market where we get all of our produce. So I got a cool kid, I got a little baby, I got a cart, oh, and I'm here too. All right, we're back from the farmer's market. I got all kinds of fruits and vegetables, different textures, flavors, colors. I'm gonna get snacks in the back and we're gonna start assembling our board. If you're planning the ultimate snack board, you have to have a big board, enough, big enough to put everything. So that one is really huge and rectangular. That's more of like a deep wood, almost size of a pizza board. And this one I absolutely love for a smaller crowd. Here's a great little tip. To keep your berries fresh for two weeks or more, take a glass container, place white or brown paper towel right at the bottom, take your berries, put them in, and that's it. Okay, so this is where I go a little crazy and I get out everything in my pantry, stuff that I've had, you know, that's been wrapped up, odds and ends. Here's some toasted pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds I made, but like this is sort of our crispy, salty section of our plate. And then we get more of our like fruits and vegetables. I even made some homemade fruit leather here that I've had in the cabinet that always looks really pretty, the kids love. Some super sweet dates, some mozzarella. We're gonna make some sandwiches. All right, let's get working. Okay, so now you've got all of the food out that you wanna put on your board. Bowls. You want to make sure that you have really fun bowls to put your fruit leather, your olives, your pits, and of course, fun sticks to pick it all off of. Alright, so now we're talking shape. So I love a melon baller and getting watermelon. You just press it right down like that, and look at that. You get a beautiful watermelon ball. I'm going to make tons of these, and I'm going to eat one. I'm going to take sandwich bread, and then I roll it out really thin with a rolling pin. And then I'm gonna roll it up after I spread it with cream cheese and olive tapenade. And then I cut them into little sushi rolls so they turn out like this. Now's the fun part where you get to fill in all the spots with color and texture, making sure you don't have any empty spaces. You want every part of your board to be completely filled in with deliciousness. Thank you to the Feed Bee for having me today. This is really fun. I get to make a massive board for my friends and family that are coming over. And if you want more fast, fresh, and easy recipes for your entire family, check out Wealicious.com.